gonna start in the next uh, two minutes. Uh, it's gonna be about 45, I'm uh, sorry, 30 minutes. Uh, about 30, 35 minutes video uh, seminar today. So, okay. hi, Situs, Inrat, uh, Answer, Luis, everyone there. Okay, we're going to start in one minute, guys. Okay, guys, uh, here we go. Uh, work on everyone again to be around another phone on the LA Wave forecast. Today's November 27, around 12.53 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the market is keep following uh, our path, and the market has been following our path as we've been proposing, uh, and as of right now, we are in what we call the definition time. If you guys remember last night, uh, uh, if you guys remember last night, uh, we say that the dollar has three different paths. Uh, I mean, we say that the market uh, it's going to follow three different paths uh, path, in that the path and the market uh, is going to follow, uh, is going to get defined within the next uh, 24, 48 hours. So, uh, Here we are. Uh, we told you guys on Sunday that there's going to be a pullback in risk. In other words, that risk off is going to get strong. That pullback is taking place. This is the dollar. It's still a no trade. In the way we see the market, it's still the dollar is a no trade. Better wait, and like Lewis say on the room, uh, uh, there are better setups than the dollar, like Euro Aussie, like Euro Pound, like Dollar Yen. That's the best one at all. Uh, until then, you have to be a smart and you have to let the dollar either define this path or the dollar take this path. The dollar right there in our system, it is still bullish in the four hour but it's still bearish in the one hour a dilemma better say 
Now, in that one hour, I still can do this. I still can do this and do a nest and going lower. It can do many things, even I still can do a little deeper here and going lower. So, be, with those four scenarios in the dollar, it's better stay away. The same was happening here. And guess what happened? The honeymoon comes around. Believe me, it's going to be a honeymoon sooner. Uh, uh, something that, something that, that we have been able to define and trade is that we do not rush the trades and that we trade based in confirmation. Yes, you're going to be out of the market here and there for a while, like right now that you are out of the dollar. But as far as these instruments break either this level or this level, I won't say about, remember, guys, what I tell you guys many times. There is another market be behind what, the bro what you guys see. And that market runs faster than this one. That's why we are able to make the course that we made. And that's the one that makes us different than the rest. So at this stage, like I say, we should be today around this candle. Right here. Around this area, which is 80.75, we should know if the dollar is going to keep going lower or the dollar is going to go this way. On today, the only and other fasted way of definition is that the dollar makes another lot here. Then with that in mind, gains is over for the dollar bulls and the dollar is going to do this and it's going to fall out of the planet, right? So a little weight, that's all that we're asking you guys in the dollar. It's better well to remind you guys that the dollar high was our target. It reached the 50% back right there to the pit. Unfortunately, we didn't. We have an order or a proposal trading idea in the euro loan from the same level as the 50 back in the dollar. It never got reached there. So, I mean, if we were a we got fear, we should be in a much better situation because we should be trading 300 picks to the outside right now. So, anybody has a question about the dollar? I think it is pretty clear. Uh, it is pretty clear. And I believe that I believe that sooner or later, sooner or later, uh, sooner or later, uh, we're going to get and we're going to be able to, uh, we don't know a uh, Bruce, we don't know yet. It has four different, four different scenarios. It can go here and make one, two, three, four, five. That means that the top is in. Or it can go to the 50 back. And we need to wait how it looks like right there. Uh, in, we need to wait how it looks like right there in order to make decision. I mean, put it this way, guys. Uh, when we were over here, we told you guys, very simple. Let's wait for the 50 back. When the market reached the 50 back over here, 
we knew and we told everyone now it goes to 8135 the same the, the history repeat himself uh, I mean the history repeats himself uh, and it's gonna happen again believe me guys it's gonna happen again it's a matter of time and I know what I means with that it's a matter of time so all you guys need to do is given a little time and we knew that a pullback is gonna happen and the pullback is taking place now if we take a look at the euro for example the euro never reached his 50 back so you gotta wait now 128 is huge in the euro because that's the continuation higher mathematical there now the sweeps neither reach the 50 back the only ones look how strong the sweep has been against the dollar but I want you guys to understand one thing no matter how strong the pairs are they're always gonna be a pullback so no need to chase also the Norwegian crown or, or the Norwegian crown right here I can tell you the best count in the Norwegian crown which is the one there in blue is a three as a flat another flat and higher so maybe the Norwegian is showing the path but it's a kind of contradiction I mean the market is contradicting there in the Norwegian crown in some degrees because looking like I have said several times to the 10 year bonds right here or the 10 year treasure this is very well correlated with the US dollar look very well correlated look September 14 November 16 so if the treasure they already have a law on it the treasure then is gonna trade kind of higher here lower tomorrow and higher that's why until the one hour trend in the dollar remains bearish you gotta keep selling the dollar in every three ways back I think that that's the proper way to play the market uh, because otherwise you're gonna stay you're gonna keep they're gonna keep you out of the market all right uh, this is the dollar uh, this is the US dollar here in the one hour Elio ways why can be one two three four and five that's possible Elio way wide it can be nesting for a big move to the downside one two one two and lower Elio way wide the dollar doesn't need to drop in an imports it can be a b c w s and keep going lower and Elio way wide is this can be it is like we putting as an alternative I can start running higher all right so all those scenarios are possible or a noise I mean all I know all I know 
All I know is that the one hour train is still lower in the dollar. And until that train is still lower, guess what? You cannot buy the dollar. All right? That right here, let me see if I can contract to this. Right here, it was the same. One, two, three. I mean, they even look alike. This correction looks alike with this correction. Now, I, we didn't tell anybody to buy the dollar here. Now, right here, we told everyone, you guys can start buying the dollar against the low. Why? Because the trend switched right there. Now, when that happened, what's going to happen? You're going to get a free ride. And that's what we need to wait right now, guys. That's when we stand in the whole market. No. Because it's, you always follow the, the higher degree trend. Now, I don't say you to follow neither the one hour trend. What I'm saying is that until, until the one hour trend is bearish, you need, this is a unique situation. Let me explain to you guys why. Because at your minimum corrected target is the 50 back. You see what I mean? Remember? That's your minimum corrected target. It was reached there. Now, I don't say you to follow the one hour. I told you last week at one moment, you can buy the euro with no fear. Because I knew that it's going to go to 129. Now, I'm telling you this, if it went to reach 875, it has, you haven't seen us change the one hour trend to the outside, you got to sell the dollar, looking lower. Because if you look at the count, the dollar principal count is that the top is in. You see what I mean? Anybody see what I mean? Everybody see what I mean, right? Because you have a daily trend that is lower. You have a four-hour target that it was reached. And you have a bearish one-hour trend. What's wrong? It's a perfect scenario. Now, the four hour most likely won't change. If it's going to break lower, the four hour most likely won't change until he's around here. It reached our target here of 802 to the pit. But now you have to let him go. I don't say buying it, I don't say selling it. I'm saying. When it reached around 80.75, 129, 128.74 in the euro. I'm sorry. I believe that in the case of the euro dollar, it's around 127.94, 128. If it goes there and it hasn't changed the one hour trend, man, you got to buy it with no feel. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. You cannot sell this market. Sorry, you cannot buy the dollar. Not yet. You follow the trend report. Of course. 
what I always say is that now, if you see that we change the one hour train to bearish, then you can start selling it. You see what I mean? The thing is that we don't have we don't have confirmation yet. Exactly, buying the US dollar, exactly. We don't have confirmation yet that this cycle ended in the dollar completely. We got confirmation that this one ended. But know the whole cycle. And still, he can do this. It's the same. If you see this in the three ways to buy, you're going to sell it. All right? Okay, that's for the dollar, guys. We got 10 more minutes. Now, I want to talk to you guys about Cooper. Very important. Cooper is showing a very nice leading diagonal one two three three back one two three three back one two three a perfect leading diagonal there oh one two three four five doesn't matter this is bullish and we got confirmation that this cycle ended in cooper this is bullish now if you put this is bullish for an extension higher, at least up to here. Now, if you put, as everybody knows already, if you put the US dollar in top of Cooper, look, it's about the same chart. The top on the same day, you see the peaks. I mean, right here, Cooper follow more the Euro than the dollar, but at the end, Dropping the dollar higher Cooper. So anybody can see that this is one, two, three, four, five swings. This is a leading diagonal. You guys should know what that means. That means higher risk. So, Memon, when you put all the things together, you need to understand one thing. Look at Cooper with the S&P. Lower S&P, lower Cooper. Recovering the S&P, recovering Cooper. When you see five ways in Cooper showing the path right there, you got to believe that, like I've been saying since the beginning of the seminar, that the law in risk can be in. And then that if when this pullback now takes place in Cooper, take place and finish taking place in the 10 years note and the dollar right here recover it here, if we haven't changed the one hour trend for being bearish to bullish in the dollar, you better start selling the dollar because otherwise you can get it out of the trade. All right? So, technically, that's, that's what I see. It's the same with the S&P. The S&P 500, I mean, look, another one that I want to show you. The Euro Yen is the same. This cycle should be over by now. It should trade lower and higher. Why? No matter how you count an earlier way, right here there is a cycle. It can be a flat. I don't like it. Or it's going to correct. It did ABC, three bucks, ABC. It has more outside. If you put The dollar yen, the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Enix, a six, and a seven. Consequently, that's also bullish risk. 
So, like I say, the top in the dollar can be in, the bottom in the euro can be in. All you need to wait is at least 24, 36 hours. I believe that we should we should get a confirmation of the low or the high in the rotor. I don't know if they're gonna outrun the euro dollar. Uh, it did outrun it, uh, Jason. I outrun the dollar. Uh, send the lows right here on the 13. If I put the euro dollar on top on it, you're gonna see. Pretty much, they will run together up to here, and then from here, it around the dollar, the euro dollar. But what I look at it is that looking at the euro, looking at the dollar yen, looking at the euro yen, looking at the ten-year bonds, looking at Cooper, I tend to believe, my friend, that the low in risk is in. Don't you agree? I tend to believe that the law is in in risk. I don't have confirmation that it is. And if it wasn't, because pairs like the euro, cable, and the suite hasn't reached the 50 back, I would be more, more bearish the dollar. But because that didn't happen, there is some pairs that they reach it, or instruments, better say, the Dow, the S&P, the 10 year, that dollar, the cat, all those the all those pairs that fine. Now the Euro cable, Swiss, Norwegian, DAX and UK and Ebex, it didn't reach the 50 daily back. So that's a 50 50 preposition right there. So you gotta be taking a little step by step. I, I preferred I've been telling all day. My preferred trade is a long dollar yen. That's my preferred chain. And the long euro Aussie and the long euro pound be, be better than anything related to indices. Right? Okay, guys. So that's what I have to say. Uh, I'm going to have the recording, uh, I mean, ready as soon as possible. We got a worldwide Spanish seminar now in Chile, Spain, all war, Spanish war. So I think it's very clear. Put it this way, is as far as the dollar trend in one hour remain bearish, you got to sell the three ways back. Simple as that. All right? Okay, guys. So see you guys around, Luis. I'm sorry that I got to go. Luis is right there. Please ask Luis any question. He's going to answer for you guys. All right? Thank you, guys.